So what we're going to add into the mix now is you're going to be a naughty boy. <laughs> because you've had lessons and because you know me, you're doing all these things really beautifully. So you're going to add into the mix, pulling your head back when you stand up. See what happens. That's not really bad enough, mm, but that's okay. Try pulling it back when you sit down. Try keeping an eye up there. Okay, I know how to do this. I've got it. Keep your eyes on the top of the yeah. ceiling there. Oh! So you didn't like that, did no. you? Because you know that's the wrong way. Yeah. I can tell, that was an exaggeration, but I can tell because I've got my hand on the back of your neck. So what we're looking for is this freedom in the neck muscles here. Uh, these are two really big muscles that go down and they stop your head from flopping forwards. Do you remember that after rock nights on a Tuesday? I couldn't lift my head up. <laughs> uh, so these stop your head from going forwards, but they do that on their own because they've got a natural tone in them. You don't have to make sure your head doesn't fall down because if you are tightening there, it can really start a horrible chain reaction all up and down. So you can give me consent to move your head up and down, but I'm doing it. That is lovely. And you give me consent to turn your head to the left and forwards and to the right. That is lovely. And Chris is demonstrating a beautiful non-doing. And then you go back and you check where your sitting bones are on the chair. And back slightly. It's a freedom and there will be a nice balance somewhere in the middle. Lovely. So the bad habits that people, uh, the bad habits that people exhibit when they get out of a chair. What's the favorite? They like to push down on their knees. Yeah. Like that. Oh, don't they? And then they pull their head back like that. Mm. Oh. And they also make a noise, don't they? Oh! <laughs> but it you comes don't. With the territory that does. Yeah. What territory? Oh, yeah. Age. <laughs> and people say, "Oh, I'm getting old." Well, age is just a number. A number. Yes. Um, okay. So, what else can I talk about? Have you any questions at this point, Chris, that would help? No. Okay, all right. So while you're sitting here... Yes, I've got a question oh, for you. Oh, good. This is one that confused me when I first started doing Alexander. Yeah, you feel the need that you have to not move once you've been put into that position by the teacher. Ah, right. But how, do you, how can I tell that my head is actually in the right position? We've got a mirror over there and I'm not, I can't use it because I can't see it. Right. And I know that you're supposed to know where your head is, but how do you know that your head is actually where it's supposed to be? That is you, you can't see when you're standing up because you know, your, your eyes are sort of in your head rather than looking at your head. Right, okay. So there's two really important considerations there. I'm glad you asked. How do you know when your head is in the right position? So the first thing is that there is no right position. And the second thing is that you can't feel it out. So the only two questions you have to ask yourself with the knowledge that these muscles here will do the right thing, like anything in your body, will do the right thing if you leave them alone. So basically, if you were to pull your head back, tip your head back, usually a bit like that, isn't it? Yeah. If you pull it back, those are tensing. If you, you can feel it across the front of your throat, can't you, when you do there's that? There's a strain, well, so, isn't there? Yeah. And you can hear it affects your voice yeah. as well. So if it's not back, and then what's the opposite? It's not forward. Pulling, but you, you feel it more in your rhombus muscles, don't you? Yeah. And so it's between your shoulder blades. You feel it when your head's pulling forward. Yep, yep, yep. There's also, there's also the, the, the forwards and down. If you were to stick your chin forwards and down, yeah. perhaps look at your phone or something like that. Yeah, which we all do, yeah. Um, 
So if it's not any of those things and you've eliminated all those things, the only other direction left is a kind of for forward and up position. And there is no mechanism for putting your head forwards and up. If you try and put it forwards and up, you'll go like this. Mm -hmm. And that's actually pulling down. Uh, you've got that kind of turkey neck going on. Um, you can't lift up. Is that up? Well, no, that's your chin up and actually that's your head back. So if you eliminate all of these things and pay attention to the rest, so just remember your bottom on the chair and your feet on the floor. That's why if you give me consent to move, then what's left is the right way. Now the other thing to remember is that the, the joint of your head, you point to the, your head joint. Yes. Just trying to think how that's going to work out. Is, is it there? Yes. I was doing it for the sake of the camera. Right. If you put your fingers just behind your jaw, under your ears, there's a little kind of dimple there. And uh, inside there is where your skull meets your spine, top of your spine. So that is where you're moving your head. It's not at the back of the head like this. It's not like that kind it's of thing. There. No. So your neck joint is there. So that's what you're balancing on. So again, if it's not forwards, it's not back, it's not this, it's not that. Everything else, if you just leave it alone, there you are. And it's like taking the catch off, like a jack-in-the-box. So the rest of you has room then to go, to go up. Good. And so one last stand up. Here we are. Check that you're not pushing your hips forward and locking your knees so your knees are going forward and away and your hips are going back. Your ankles are softening. Your toes are going streaming outwards. You've got weight on the three points of your foot, which is heel and behind the front toe and behind the little toe, the big toe and the little toe, like a tripod. That's it. So then that gives you more stability. Sit down. That is absolutely lovely. I made a noise there, sorry. <laughs> you did. <laughs>